Sorry, I stopped. Maybe I should uh, ask if you are hearing me well. I guess yes. I, okay. And any question about the last lecture, maybe, before I start? No? Okay, so the, the goal of this sounds a bit weird. Okay, so the, the goal of, of this lecture is to, sh is to uh, discuss this A1 conductivity theorem uh, of Morel. Um, and so I'm going to start uh, with some uh, the collection about the notion of connectivity in topology. Okay. Um, all right, so this is somehow a classical notion. So uh, let me make this definition. So let's, let's, uh, let X be uh, a can complex. or if you prefer a CW complex. Um, so we say that uh, X is N connected if, uh, roughly speaking, ba basically uh, we want the homotopy groups, homotopy uh, groups of X somehow uh, to vanish uh, in low degrees, uh, so small, smaller than N. So we want, uh, so, but, but, but for this we have to uh, assume that X is, is non-empty, so there are two conditions, so if uh, X is, ah, I should not use this? Okay. So, okay, two conditions, maybe let me put points. So, first condition is that X is non-empty. And the second condition is that uh, for every uh, point in X, we ask that the homotopy groups, homotopy objects, or sets, uh, it depends on I, uh, are trivial uh, in, uh, oops, for, uh, for I between 0 and n minus 1. Okay, this is the uh, definition of being uh, connective uh, and connective. And uh, so here's maybe a remark. So, so let's see what, what this gives us in, uh, for low uh, integers n. So if n is, e is equal to 0, then uh, this condition is empty. So we are only asking x to be non-empty. So, uh, so x is non-empty. Um, for n equal uh, n equal one, so we are we are asking that the pi zero is uh, is trivial, so this is uh, the same thing as being connected. Okay, and so n equal two, it's simply connected. Okay, so uh, and uh, it, it will be convenient to extend this uh, slightly uh, to the case n equal minus one. So maybe it's, it's a convention if you want. For n equal to minus one, so we declare that everything is uh, every sp every can complex is minus one connected. So it's uh, every every x is uh, minus one connected connected. Okay, so uh, this is connect connectivity and there is a kind of an orthogonal notion uh, which is uh, of being truncated. So again, uh, let's let X be a kind of complex. So we say that uh, X is n truncated if uh, the opposite condition. So, uh, yeah. if uh, yeah, for every X, pi i is trivial for 
i bigger than i, th than n, sorry. Okay? Um, yeah, here's maybe a remark again. So uh, for, for n equal uh, zero, uh, so being zero truncated, this is the same thing as being discrete. So x is discrete. And uh, so again, we, we, we will do, uh, we extend this by convention to lower n. So for n equal to minus one, we say that uh, to be minus one con uh, con uh, truncated, uh, then x has to be either, uh, either uh, the contractible set or uh, the empty set. And for n equal minus two, we declare that this is equivalent to say that x is contractible. Okay, this is just some conventions, and some of the reasons for this convention uh, is that uh, th that will make the following statement correct, uh, even uh, in, in low degrees. So here's a basic fact from topology: is that uh, for n bigger than minus two, um, every so th th there exists. unique uh, map from x to something which I'll write either uh, like this, tau smaller than n of x, or sometimes, uh, so this is also just x smaller than n. And so this is called the nth truncation. So, um, uh, so such that, uh, is n truncated, and the fibers are the fibers of this map are uh, n plus one connected, connected. Yeah, maybe uh, okay, n plus one connected. Okay, so I, I leave it as, a, I leave it as, a, as I think this has maybe to check that this is uh, also working maybe for n equal minus two and equal minus one. Okay. Um, um, and also, I uh, should also say that um, uh, another remark is that uh, so we can uh, we can run this construction for for every n. So we have actually a tower. Oops. There is. Tower like this. So maybe I use this notation because it's, it's shorter. Right. And this is uh, what is called the, the Postnikov Tower. This is. I did mention this, I think, yesterday. Um, okay. um, and uh, so the, the nice... Ula. That will take care of this? Okay. So the, 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 yeah, the, the nice thing about this uh, tower is that uh, the fibers... So let, let's, say, let's say x is connected, so if x is connected... Uh, sorry, is pointed. So then you can speak about the fiber. thing here, and uh, this is uh, an Eilenberg MacLean uh, space, so um, so it's a space which, which has only one homotopy group uh, in, degree, in degree n, and it's given by this pi. Okay, so.
can I erase everything or I'm taking notes? Sure. Yes, I can. I can go on. So I, I would need to uh, extend this also a little bit to the context of sheaves. So, uh, and so let, let me just do it in the case that you are interested in, namely sheaves on, uh, in the sheaves on smooth varieties. So uh, again, make a definition. Uh, so let, uh, now let maybe x, curly x, be, um, be a k-space, and remind, remember this means that it's, it's an object of the category of sheaves, Nisnevis sheaves on this means varieties. Okay, so we can extend these notions uh, in an, ob an obvious way by basically by looking at Stokes. Uh, so we will say that uh, x is n uh, connected If for all um, u, um, so I'll, I'll exchange this in word in a second, essentially smooth and uh, Hensilian and local Hensilian. Uh, we want that x u is unconnected. Um, yeah, so what, what is uh, essentially smooth? So it means that basically it's like you can write it as a, as a limit of smooth varieties. Uh, what, what, yeah, I mean, like, like what I'm saying here is that I, I want to look at you, which are, for example, are the Hansilian rings, local rings of uh, some smooth uh, varieties. Okay, so uh, this is just a, an easy way not to, to, to say this. Okay, so it's just like, it's a limit of smooth varieties and the transition, tra transi transition maps are uh, et al, for example. Okay, so, so these, these, are, uh, these hues are the, somehow the points, the et al point, the Nisnevich points of the, of the site. Um, and so we are just looking at the stokes of this X and we, are, we want the stokes to be uh, unconnected. And similarly for, similarly for, uh, and uh, truncated. And, uh, and so we have uh, the same uh, fact as before. So same uh, fact or facts as before. So we can, whenever we have a k-space, we can look at its nth truncation and there is a positive of tower. Uh, what is uh, maybe worth mentioning here is the following thing. So. Uh, um, so, so if I look at the at the Postnikov tower of X, um, and I I form the limit of the truncations, and I look at the natural map from X to the limit, this is going to be an an, an equivalence uh, in this. Okay, so that's good to to keep in mind. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning this because somehow here, this definition somehow is, I mean, it, it's, you, you can make it in any, uh, for any site or for any infinity topos. Um, uh, and it, it works really as, as in the case of uh, time complexes. But this is somehow special uh, to the Nisnevich topology. It won't be true, for example, if you, if you take maybe the etal topology, then you will have to put some, some assumption uh, for this to be true. But in, for the Nisnevich topology, it happens to be true in general cases. Okay, so. Um, right, so. And let me also make a remark, so. Uh, another remark also. So how, 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 should, how do we uh, compute this, or how, how, do, how should we think about this truncation? So there's, there's actually a, a nice formula for this. So uh, this 
guy. So if you, if you take um, a case space X, the truncation is uh, simply uh, the Nisnevich shification. Sheet associated to to the following pre sheaf which takes u and map it to uh, the truncation of x u. So you simply you, you look you, you truncate the pre sheaf. Uh, truncation is functorial, so this makes sense. You can you can define a pre sheaf like this, and then you shiftify it, and then you get the uh, the truncation of x. Okay, that's um, okay. So now let's move to uh, motifics. I think so. T or A one uh, connectivity. Okay, so okay, um, what's uh, the definition is the following one, so uh, it's kind of a na naive, maybe, but uh, uh, but you will see that it, it's 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 a good definition in, in a later on. But uh, the naive, def I mean, the naive extension or naive version is the following. So uh, so let X again be a K space. So then we say then we say that X is. Is A1 and connected if um, the motivic localization of, of X. Right, so this is, this is the, 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 the function that makes X as a, a motivic space in a minimal manner. Uh, if this is, uh, is N connected in the previous sense. Okay, so. Uh, I, I could also re reformulate this condition using uh, the, the pi i a1s. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I should write it. Uh, so at least, okay, let, let me also now say that uh, for n minus 1, we, we said that every sink is a1. Every sink. Every, every thing is a1 minus 1 connected by convention. Okay, uh, now for n uh, bigger than zero, so uh, let's say, I, I, um, yeah, for n bigger than zero, and um, yeah, there's always this issue with, with base point, but anyway, so, okay. Uh, for n bigger than zero, so we want x to be non-empty, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, the stokes of x are non-empty, so this is a reformulation. Uh, I'm trying to reformulate this condition. So the stokes of x non-empty. And let's say in the, in the case where x is connected, uh, then for every uh, x uh, a point in uh, the global section, uh, we are we are we are we, we want that this. Uh, to be zero for uh, n minus one. Okay, so this is just, like, let's, say, let's say this is a, a side remark. This is maybe not, not, not a formal definition because uh, okay, I have to, one has to be a bit careful with, with the base point here. But basically, this, this is what, what, what it's saying. So we, uh, x is a one connective if uh, we have this a similar vanishing in the a1 uh, pi i's. Okay? So, okay, so now I can state the main theorem of today's lecture. So, theorem. Is, um, uh, yeah, if, if X is, uh, is N connected, so we, we start with the case space which is uh, and connective, then it is also and uh, a one and connected. So 
this is uh, the A1 connectivity theorem. So uh, th this somehow makes this definition reasonable because uh, a priori it's, um, it would be very hard, I mean, if you don't know this kind of result, it would be hard to uh, come up with examples of uh, A1N connected because this, this functor is kind of uh, very mysterious and we, we don't know what it does um, a priori. So, uh, but this theorem tells us that, tells us that actually this is uh, a, re a reasonable notion. No, I don't. I don't need this for anything. So, it could be uh, uh, no, no, no assumption on on K. Okay, but it's somehow the same. Uh, I mean, it's it's basically your proof. So it's, I don't know if, if it can be called a generalization. But so um, uh, right. So. Mm, okay. So let, let let me give some application. Uh, so. This before I uh, discuss discuss the proof. So, uh, so um, yeah. So let, let me make maybe first a, a notation. So uh, let X be a K space. A point. So uh, we, we define uh, the x uh, larger than n. So uh, x lower, the lower n, this is the n truncation that I discussed before. Now I want to define uh, what, what is called the n-connected cover of x. Uh, so this is defined to be uh, the, fib uh, the, um, yeah, the fiber of the map from x to the truncation. Uh, maybe uh, n minus one truncation. Okay, that, that, and that, that makes sense for n bigger than minus one. Okay, so, this, so this, there is a map um, to x, and this is called, uh, this map here is called the, the nth connected cover. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess in case uh, maybe if, if X is, uh, is connected or, or one connective uh, and we take maybe N equal to, to two, we are getting here the, like this would be uh, simply the universal cover of a, uh, of a space. Right? This is a generalization of the universal cover uh, construction if you want. Okay? Any question about this? Yes. I, I didn't want, so I, I said this, this is kind of informal here uh, because I didn't want to, to get uh, into this issue of how, how I should choo choose the, the base point. Uh, so in case X is connected, uh, then, then, then I guess you can make this uh, a working definition. Then, then, you, then you can just take a, a K point and but in general, I don't. I mean, I, I, I have to think about it. Probably there is there is an easy way. Okay, so uh, I can now I can state the uh, corollary of of this uh, of this theorem. Uh, the corollary is if if you start with something which is motivic, so if X is a motivic space. Then uh, point is. Then you uh, this, this uh, operation somehow preserves the property of being motivic. So then, yes. Sorry, if it's if it's connected, that there's this uh, battle between connected and connected. Yes, yes. I think you mean n connective. Yes, yes, yes. I I I I am all, I will always use connective, yeah. even if I wrote connected in the, on the blackboard. Yes. For n equal two, it's yes, yes, yes. It's it's simply connected. Yeah. Yes, because I mean I have a point, right? So then I can speak about the fiber of the map. Yeah. 
Yeah, just it, it's just uh, the homotopy fiber, of course. It's always the homotopy fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Okay, so then uh, x bigger than minus n is also motivic. Okay, so that's that's nice. I'm just it's telling us that you that, that you can speak about and, and connective covers in the uh, uh, in the motivic uh, category. Uh, let me uh, prove this it's before going uh, going on. So it's, the proof is nice and easy. So I uh, I'll do it now. Okay, so here's the proof. Okay, so let me remind you what you are about to show. So we have x uh, motivic, and we have this uh, the end uh, cover uh, of x. We, we don't know a priori that this is motivic, so we, um, and this is uh, our goal is to show that this guy is motivic. Um, now, so since this is motivic, so by somehow the universal property uh, of this functor, of the motivic localization functor, this map has to factor through the motivic localization. Okay, so there's a unique factorization of this map like this, just by the universal property of, uh, of this functor. Okay? Uh, or, yeah, I mean, or, yeah. Should I should what? You're right, yes. It's ambiguous. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. So, uh, right, but then, then we, can, we can use uh, the, the connectivity theorem to say that this is, to say that this guy here is it's still uh, uh, unconnected. Good, but then uh, now this is n connective. It's mapping mapping to something. Uh, th th then there is also this has also a universal property, right? This is like the the the, the, the final uh, object which is n connective mapping to X. So therefore, this map also has to factor through the uh, connective cover of. Okay, so we get this kind of diagram like this. And uh, it's not hard to see that then uh, this has to compose to identity. Again, by some kind of unicity or universal property. Uh, but then this, this is telling us that uh, this uh, x bigger than n is a, um, is a, is a direct or is a uh, retract of, of this guy, right? So, and then it's, it's easy to see that if, you, if the retract of a motivic space it has to be also uh, motivic, right? So, so we conclude using the fact using that, that uh, motivic spaces are 
closed under retraction. One application, and let me also mention another, another one, which will be useful for us later. Uh, another corollary is the following one. So if, now if you take x a case space, then uh, uh, then you can deduce, you, you can say that the i i a1, so again, pointed. Uh, can we can deduce that the despite the pi i a one of x uh, is um, is i minus one strongly uh, a one invariant. Let's say for i bigger bigger than. And so, uh, yes, zero strong invariant is supposed to be just A1 invariant, okay? Right, so how do we get this? So, um, all right, so what, um, yeah, so we, we look at the, so to prove such a thing, we can assume that X is, 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 is motivic from, uh, from the, the beginning because uh, this pi IA1 of X is just a pi IA1 of the, of the L mod of X. Right, so we can replace x by n mod x, x and assume that x is motivic. So we may assume motivic. Uh, let's look at the, at the following thing. So we have x uh, bigger than n mapping to x bigger Uh, n minus one is this uh, right? Yes. Okay, so let's let's look at this uh, uh, at, at this at this map. And so uh, uh, maybe I didn't say it, but I mean th th these these objects they have the same uh, homotopy sheaves in all degrees. Uh, I mean the, the, the homotopy sheaves of this x are the one of uh, of this x bigger than n, or the one of x up to degree n, and then in, they are just trivial. So this map agree on uh, uh, homotopy sheaves up to degree n, and, he, and this one has an, an extra one in degree n minus one, okay? And uh, so maybe if I want to, yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. So now uh, let, let's look at the fiber of this map. So the fiber of this map uh, is, going to, is going to be an Iver Martin space. Um, I guess PN, pi n minus one. Uh, X in degree n. Okay. And now, uh, by, by the A1 connectivity theorem, these two guys are motivic. Because I, I assumed my X to be motivic. And so, again, we use the fact that motivic spaces are, are preserved under fiber, uh, undertaking fibers. So we deduce that this guy is motivic also. And now, um, uh, an Iber Maclean space is, uh, in, in degree n is motivic if and only if. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, uh, let's see, is there, is there a problem with this? Uh, let me check my notes. <laughs> uh, is it good? Yeah. Where is. Uh, Yeah, no, it should be n minus two. Uh, okay, so I guess better to take uh, something like this. Uh, and then I would get pi n plus one. N. Okay, that's, that's better, I think. Let, okay, I mean, I, I will write something which is not true, but uh, <laughs> the next thing will be in n plus one. Oh, no, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. 
what I'm, what am I doing here? Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I, I only had got three hours of sleep tonight, so maybe this is explanation of. Uh, somebody can help me, please. So in my, in my notes, I have an n minus one here. It's very weird. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, this this has less. So, so so this is this has a, a pi n. Right. So so if what I wanted to write here was pi, pi n n, right? And then uh, in the fiber. Uh, yes. That's 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 it. Thank you. Right. So. This is motivic, and then, uh, and basically, so there is a small lemma. Uh, maybe I, I leave this as, a, as an exercise. Uh, maybe Niraj could do it uh, as an exercise. It's, 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 a, it's a nice exercise, easy. And uh, it says the following. So let, let's say, for simplicity, that, that A is, um, is a sheaf of abelian groups uh, on smooth K. Then the following two conditions are equivalent. So to say that A is uh, N st strongly invariant, or to say that the Alban Maclean space, the nth Alban Maclean space, is motivic. I think this is, yeah, it, it's, um, yeah. And fr from this, we deduce what you want, basically. Okay? So, I don't know how I'm doing it. Ooh. Okay, so I have to, to rush a bit. So let's, let me now discuss the proof of the A1 connected theorem. So, uh, okay, so uh, the proof is, uh, I think, uh, at least the, the so so Fabian had, I think first he, he proved the, the stable A1 connectivity theorem, and uh, the proof I am going to present is really par parallel to that one. Um, to be honest, I didn't uh, read the other one, the, the one in your book, so I, I, I don't know, but but at least it's very similar to the unstable to the stable one. So uh, okay, so it, it has two parts. So you have to uh, so let, let's see. Maybe I have to fix some notation. So let, let x be uh, a k space, and we, we, our goal is to show that the motivic localization of x, uh, so uh, connected uh, and connected, I want to show that this is also n connected. This is our goal, and so so the, the proof has two steps. So first step is to is to show that the, that this is con connective in a, in a weak sense, uh, and, and we think that in the sense that it is, if I if you evaluate this at any uh, extension of your base field, uh, this is a, this is uh, n connected n connective space. So this is we can, one can call this generic generic n connectivity. So here k is just some uh, any I mean let's see. Uh, the, the function field. So, uh, so you, you, you take uh, a smooth k variety, and then you you look at the maybe connected, and then you take its uh, field of fraction. Right. So, so I, sh I I don't think I have said it, but but this means I, I'm when, when I write like this, I mean I'm evaluating at at taking the collimate over the values of of all the open set in some variety. Okay. I hope this is. So this is, this is the first step. And then the second step is uh, based on Gabriel's lemma. So second step is Gabriel's lemma, Gabriel's lemma, um, which uh, basically would, will tell us that if, uh, so to, to show the following, so if x, if, I mean, if u is connected, 
genetic point eta then the map from uh, L mod x to L mod x uh, eta uh, is ejective on homotopy objects. Is ejective in homotopy. In homotopy. So I, I'll try to be a bit more precise later on. Okay, that's the two steps. So, and these two steps will, will imply what you want somehow because, uh, yeah. I hope this is clear. Yeah. So let, let, let me let me now since I don't have uh, so much time. So let me let me discuss these two steps in more details. So this is uh, step one and two. Okay, so for, uh, to, to, to do step one, somehow one, one needs to, uh, one, needs, one needs a model of this uh, material localization, localization, localization functor. So let me introduce some notation uh, to, to tell you what this model is. Uh, right, so we have this uh, usual uh, cosimpatial object, right, the delta k, which is, uh, given in degree n by the spectrum of uh, t0 to tn mod r by t0 plus plus tn minus 1. This is the usual algebraic simplex that probably you've seen already. Uh, and so uh, we use this to, to, to define uh, what's called the susin wojewski con uh, construction, maybe. Um, so this is a functor uh, on uh, on pre sheaves. So it's really best to see, to see this as a functor from uh, pre sheaves of spaces on smooth variety to itself. Right, so it's an endo functor. And so what, what does it do? Uh, if you if you take uh, a pre sheave, then you map it to the following object. So it's again it's going to be a pre sheave, but uh, uh, and it's going it's given as follows. So if you if you have a smooth variety, then this new pre-sheaf uh, will uh, send this variety u to the following object. So you, you, you look at x, u, and then you cross u by this uh, uh, cosimplicial scheme. Right? So then this becomes uh, a simplicial can complex. Right? And then you can take the, uh, what's called the ge geometric realization of this. Okay, and that's uh, that's uh, the new uh, pre sheaf. Right, so this is uh, here. I'm describing this thing a one of, uh, of of x. Okay, any question about this? Uh, I don't know what, what, so it depends what, what you mean by the geometric realization. Okay, so. If, but then, then you have to make it a can, a can complex. This, this will not be a can complex. But it's, a, it's just a diagonal uh, made, made a can complex. Okay? All right, so that's, uh, and so the, the, the fact is that, is that uh, you can use this functor to describe the motivic localization, 
so, and again, this is something which I will not prove, it's, which is also not very difficult, and it could be done as an exercise, maybe. Uh, so this functor is going to be, uh, uh, yeah, so it's like this, so, uh, thing A1 composed with the Nisnevich localization function. So again, remember, we, we have uh, an under functor of this category which takes a pre sheaf to its shiftification, and this is the, the endless. So I, I, I compose these two things, and then uh, this uh, has to be composed with itself infinitely many times, or something like this. It's like it's a co limit over uh, composition of these two functors. Okay? That's. Uh, and so, I mean, maybe just uh, quickly, so wh why this is a uh, reasonable statement? So, uh, yeah, so the thing is that, th so this, this construction uh, has a property that it, it, it takes uh, a pre-sheaf of can complexes to one which is A1 invariant in the obvious sense. So, so uh, this, n this new uh, pre-sheaf will, will have the obvious A1 invariance property. So uh, if, you, if you evaluate it at u or at a1 times u, it will be the same object. That's basically by, by construction. Uh, but it, dis it, it will destroy somehow the, the sheaf property a priori. So if, if x was a k-space, this will not be a k-space anymore in general. Okay? And so what you do, you, you, you iterate these two constructions together infinitely many times so that at the end you, you have the, the, the two properties that you want, namely that you have a, you have a k-space which is a1 invariant. Okay? That's, that's the idea behind this. Um, and as a quick uh, corollary of this uh, construction, uh, we get uh, immediately that um, if we look at, uh, for any case, uh, for any pre-sheaf, really, of spaces, so if you look at x to uh, L mod of x and, and pass to the pi zero, uh, pi zero, Sheaves, uh, that this is an epimorphism. Uh, and again, quickly, let's, let me say how you did use this. Uh, so you, you have to, you use this model, and then you, then it will be in, in, enough to show that that, uh, that this will be enough to show the, the claim when you replace L mod by L miss or by thing A one. And for Lness, it's kind of obvious. And this is uh, somehow preserves the, sheaf, the pi zero sheaf. Uh, uh, for thing A one, uh, you use somehow the, the fact that uh, this, this diagonal construction, uh, you know, uh, it preserves the zero synthesis in some sense. So uh, at the end, you will get a smaller, uh, smaller pi zero. Okay. So it's a, yeah, it's an easy uh, consequence of this. So I don't want to spend so much time because I think this is, uh, I don't have. That much, that many, much time left, and it's kind of easy. Um, and so, as, again, as a corollary of this, we see that L mod preserve preserves uh, one connectivity. One connectivity is, is just being connected, and uh, yeah, so it's because of this. Right, so, and as a conclusion, uh, we may assume that n is bigger than 2. I think this uh, uh, may assume that. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, so, so, so to, do, to do the general case, um, I need the following uh, fact from topology. So I, I, I need, uh, okay, I need, I need a fact, a definition, and a fact. Will be fast. Will be. Will be done. So the first fact is the following. So maybe the lemma. So this is a lemma about geometric re realization, uh, and I will apply it, uh, you know, to, to situation situation like that. So assume that you have uh, x dot a simple Shulkin complex. Such that. X uh, X M is N minus M connective for all M. Okay, so 
when this becomes very neg very negative, I mean that this is this is no condition at all, right? So it's just a condition about the first maybe uh, n uh, part. Okay, so what what would be the obvious conclusion? The geometric realization uh, is is n connect uh, is n connect. Okay, so it's something. Uh, I hope it's, I mean, I, I hope it's quite, con, quite reasonable to expect this. I mean, I, the proof is not so, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the proof is maybe not, not, not difficult, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not, one has to think a little bit. Um, this is uh, one lemma. N n now I, I will need a, f a definition. Um, so I, I'll say that, uh, so let, let x be, be a pre sheaf of kind complexes on smooth varieties. Uh, so we say that x is weakly uh, n-connected if the following holds uh, for every essentially smooth and CDN scheme uh, of dimension D. So for any for any such thing, uh, the condition is that if you evaluate X at U, uh, you get something which is uh, N minus D connected. And so notice that, that uh, being weakly unconnective implies that it is generically unconnective in the, in the sense that we want from step one, right? So, uh, so this is like a, a, sli a slightly st stronger condition than gen generic uh, connectivity, but it has better stability properties. Uh, okay, so, uh, so then, then we have a, a second fact. So first, of course, I, mean, I will say it already, this, uh, this property depends only on the Nisnevich localization of X because, because I'm just evaluating at a Tensilian scheme. So um, if X is weakly unconnected, then L Nisnevich is also weakly uh, unconnected. Okay, so uh, the, fa uh, the fact I want to say is the following. So if, uh, if, I, if X is weakly, uh, and connective, and and U is essentially smooth um, uh, essentially smooth, but not necessarily Hansidian now, just essentially smooth of dimension uh, dimension D, then um, then we then the, the Nisnevich localization of X evaluated at U is still is N minus D connect. Okay, so this is uh, not a bit difficult fact. It's 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 a ver it's a version of uh, the uh, the Nisnevich dimension property, right? So we know that that if you have a, a smooth a, a, such a smooth variety of the uh, scheme of dimension D. Uh, and we have a sh we have x which is n connective, then uh, this will be true, right? So, so, it, so if, if, if I don't have this weekly, um, this will be true just by by the Nisnevich commutator dimension property, right? And so the reason that, that that it is true also for this weak version is because uh, if you look at um, how to say this, so. So as assume that so yeah, if you look at at, uh, at the homotopy sheaf, for example, in degree n minus one here, uh, they might contribute to to, uh, to something in degree n minus d uh, min minus one homological, but because they are supported on um, um, on on on, on subvarieties of them of smaller dimension, somehow one can somehow get 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 this this bound somehow by yeah, it's I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
the, the Visage, I would say. Right? So you, you, you would, yeah, you, you, you look at uh, commodity with, with support and close things, and then you, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. All right, so, but now if you have these, these two facts, it, uh, we get the following corollary. And what? And connected spaces, and so uh, here's uh, the proof. So uh, it's enough to do uh, to say that n miss uh, is R, and that the thing a one preserve because we have this uh, this model of this n mod. Right? So it's uh, so if you can show that these two functors. Uh, preserve weekly and connective, then we are done. Uh, for this, I already said it, and it's, this is clear, this is just, uh, uh, yeah. So, f and, and for this one, uh, we have to look back uh, at, the, at the construction. So, uh, so I want to show that, so I assume that X is, is weekly and connective, I want to show that the, the result is also weekly and connective, so I, I take my U to be uh, a Hanselian, uh, essentially smooth scheme of dimension D, right? Uh, and then I try to, to look at this uh, object here. But then u times uh, delta n uh, will be essentially a smooth scheme of, of dimension d plus n. Uh, and then I can use uh, this second fact there here to, to see that, that this uh, can complex is n minus d connective, as, as I, or, or yeah, the thing that I want. And then uh, from this, uh, it follows. So, okay? All right, so I still have some time to dis uh, have two minutes to discuss uh, Gabriel's lemma and how we conclude. So. So what is Gaber's, Gaber's lemma? <coughs> yeah. So, okay, what does it say? So it says the following. So uh, you take x smooth over k uh, and z inside x closed uh, of uh, which is no more dense. Everywhere of course I mentioned at least one. So then locally on X for the for the Zariski topology for the Zariski topology, I can find a map to uh, of this form from X to A one uh, times y with y of dimension smaller than x, and, and this is an etal morphism, uh, such that, so it's called this f, such that, so two properties. So first, f of z, uh, uh, or maybe rather the induced map from z to y, right? so uh, z in, is inside x, I can map it here, and then I can project to y. This is, a, this is finite. And uh, f minus 1 f of z is, uh, is just z. Okay, so yeah, these two properties. Uh, let, me, let me also mention what the, the, the following thing. So, so the, nice, the, the reason why this is a nice uh, fact for us is that uh, then from, from these two properties, we see that immediately that we have uh, a Nisnevich square like this. Oh, I mean, in particular, so we have a Nisnevich square. Okay, so let me use this to conclude. Oh, it's okay? 
So uh, how to finish the proof with this? So uh, okay. So as you, so just to s simplify notation. So assume that you can take x to be to be uh, local here. So assume. Maybe even local hands here, and this is where I want to apply uh, the lemma. So, okay. So we want to show injectivity uh, on homotopy sheaves, right? So, uh, so let's 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 take some alpha in pi i of uh, L mod. Uh, X that maps to, Z, to, to, the, to the base point in uh, L mod of the generic point. Okay, and I want to show that alpha is also uh, the, the base point. Okay, so uh, this condition uh, can be uh, so si since this is defined as a as a collimate over evaluation at opens in X, this happens somewhere. Uh, so this happened uh, after removing uh, s some closed subset of x. Okay, so I can assume this. And then I, 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 I will use this square here. So we have, uh, we have uh, a Cartesian uh, square. Yes. Yes, which is, a which is a consequence of being weakly right. and connected. But I mean, I, I'm just I'm just going to prove that that, that the map is injective uh, on homotopy without. I mean, it's, it's kind of an it's an interesting fact which is even independent of. Yeah. Right. So uh, I guess we have something like this. So uh, here, here, and I guess we have. So because I have this uh, uh, this mysterious square, this is uh, a Cartesian square. Um, okay, now uh, I have alpha here mapping to, z to zero or to, to the base point. This means that, that alpha is coming from the homotopy fiber. So let's give the, this one. So I can lift somehow alpha, uh, alpha here. Okay, I mean, I, of course I have to lift this in the pi i, but I, I will not write it. So. And uh, on the other hand, the, this is two, I guess. So the fiber of two is equivalent to the fiber of one because it's homotopy Cartesian. So I have I have alpha prime which can be lifted to to the fiber to a fiber here. And so so my alpha here is really the image of alpha prime by this composition. Okay. Now it's enough to show that this composition uh, has to be uh, is is null homotopic. Um, right, so the claim is that. This is homotopic, and the reason is that you can factor this map by the f by uh, the fiber of a third map, and what is the third map is uh, is the map that goes uh, to 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 y. Uh, so I, I just a second, I'll explain. So what you do here, you 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 pick up you pick up uh, any any point of a one which. Which uh, do, which which um, uh, that, that does, that does not meet f of z. f of z is finite over y. Uh, I can assume that y is local. So there is always a section which miss misses completely this f of z. Uh, I can even take take this to be the zero section if you want. It doesn't matter. So 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 this map here factor. Uh, sorry. Uh, something like this maybe better. Right, so we can go uh, in this way, and I guess this will tell us that the fiber of two goes to the fiber of three, as I want. Okay, and but the fiber of three is is is, is just a contractible space because x is a one invariant. So that's it. Yeah. Okay, so I, that was the sketch. 